Oh, there's part of my application in uh, Proton. And what we're doing, we're feeding 14 and a half volts out into a LM317 variable voltage regulator. The potentiometer works on the adjust leg to vary the voltage. And then it feeds over to this, which is a voltage divider. One side goes to ground. The other side goes to the maximum of 14.5 volts in. And this leg is going to output the 0 to 5 volts to the ADC register of the PIC chip. And we can't read more than 5 volts with the chip. So we run it through a voltage divider so that the maximum voltage that we're going to feed it will always be divided to 5 volts max. Okay, we'll take a look what we got as a voltage on the meter. I'm going to lay it here so you can see it. If I can do it. Okay. Now my adjustment adjust the output on the LM317. I'm going to take a look at the voltage. Now it's quantized to 14.5 volts. You have to quantize it to the maximum output voltage that you're going to be reading or else you'll have erroneous results. And what I did was with the uh, voltmeter I measured the output voltage of 12 volts or the output voltage of my power supply under no load conditions. Okay, and that's how I was able to determine what the uh, maximum read voltage is going to be. Now, at this voltage, our minimum is going to be 1.25, and there it is. I'm going to try to adjust it to a point where you see some flicker. There's a little bit, some flicker on the screen at the voltmeter. And if you look, on the LCD, you're not getting that flicker. It's more stable. Then the software, I have it set up. It's not right here. It's, yeah, it's further up. But what it does is the chip will sample the voltage five times. Okay, so I have five time sampling. It adds all the samples together and divides it by five to come up with an accurate result. But what it does in order to get an accurate result, even with this flicker, is it's a hundred millisecond delay in between samples. So it takes a half a second to come up with the result. And half a second is not very long. You can see the results are very good. You can see there's a lot of bounce on the voltmeter. It's not so bad on the chip. That's maximum voltage right there. So we're reading 13 and a half volts into a pick chip. Remember a voltage divider is your, your key ingredient. It's going to let you do that. You can monitor the voltage of a vehicle's battery, the charge state of a battery, output voltage of a home-built power supply, any number of things.